When importing tracks from a different session, it can be difficult to find the right tracks, especially if the session is large or complex. The Pro Tools Import Session Data window offers numerous ways to manage and speed up the process of bringing in tracks from other Pro Tools sessions, as well as AAF files and Dolby Atmos ADM files. The Import Session Data window shows session information and options on the left, and lists the source sessions, tracks and marker rulers to the right. By default, clicking a track will select it to be added to your open session as a new track, which will include the track's contents and attributes like plugins and automation. You can also transfer a track's data to a specific existing track in your session and be selective about which attributes are included. Let's look at some more options in the Import Session Data window and ways to manage complex transfers between large projects. The Session Data section lets you import non-track related attributes like a session's tempo map. The Playlist options set how track's contents and configuration are imported. By default everything comes across and if you're importing to an existing track it will overwrite what's there. You also have the option to exclude a track's contents or to combine the source and destination track's contents. The Track Data to Import window gives you detailed control over which other track attributes are included with an import, such as plugins, automation and routing. Media options determine how audio and video clips used in the tracks are managed on import. You can choose to link to the same media files as the original session or copy or consolidate to new files. The Timecode Mapping section sets whether any time offsets will be applied to imported tracks. Maintain Absolute Timecode will match the timecode positions of imported clips to the same times in your current session. Maintain Relative is available if the start times of your source and destination sessions are different. You also have the option to set a specific offset using Map Start Timecode. If this session you're importing from has a start time earlier than your open one, you can change it to match from here, which will enable absolute timecode mapping. The sample rate conversion option is used for repitching audio and tracks on import. You don't need to use this when importing from a session at a different sample rate if the pitch is to stay the same. Files will always be converted on import to match the open session anyway. When you import with a sample rate change, audio speed will change and all clip times and automation on the imported tracks will be scaled accordingly. The tracks and marker rulers in your source session are listed on the right, providing a clear overview of the session. The window can be freely resized so you can see more tracks and longer track names. Track colors and folder hierarchy are clearly indicated and track types are shown with icons. Track folders can be opened and closed to help with sorting through larger sessions. You can select whole folders for import, whether they are open or closed, by clicking on the circle to the right. A fully selected folder is indicated by a filled circle. If only some of the tracks in a folder are selected, the circle will display a dot. Above the track list, a filter bar offers a quick way to find tracks by name, or by track attributes. As well as being able to exclude or include different track types from the list, you can filter by track states, hidden, inactive, and frozen, and also whether tracks are already selected for import. A handy time saver is the ability to filter out unused tracks by excluding tracks with no clips, automation, or markers. The unlink button sets the way that tracks are selected for import. With unlink off, selecting tracks immediately marks them for import to new tracks. You can also add all or match all to add or match the currently filtered list. With Unlink active, you can add or match groups of tracks selectively or set up a combination of new track and match track imports without having to pre-filter the list. You can use the A and M keys for add and match and the C key for clear. When matching, the exact match option ignores partial name matches. Imports to new tracks are shown as blue, partially matched tracks are shown as orange, and exact matches are green. Importing marker rulers works in mostly the same way, with both manual and automatic matching options. The main difference is that when not mapping to a specific ruler, marker rulers are converted to basic folder tracks with track markers. When you've set up your import and click the OK button, the tracks will be added or merged with your open session with new tracks placed below any selected tracks. 
As you can see, the Pro Tools Import Session Data window gives comprehensive filtering options and visual information, and options to efficiently find and import tracks.